this video, we're going to be simplifying cube roots. Recall that when we're simplifying a square root, like the square root of 24, we would break it down into the prime numbers, and then we would look for pairs of number because we're finding the square root. So that leaves us two radical six in this case. So just like a square root looks for pairs, a cube root is going to look for three of a kind. Now, unlike square roots, which if we had taken this problem and it had said negative on the inside, this would have been no real solution. However, because it's a cube root, the negative on the inside is okay and we can work on our problem. So let's go ahead and let's do some examples. So in our first example, we have the cube root of negative 128. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our negative sign and we are going to bring it down and it's going to go out in the front of our answer. Then we're going to take our 128 and break it down using a factor tree. So I'm going to use the number 4. So 128 divided by 4 is 32. And I'm going to go ahead and break these numbers down. So I'm going to get a 2, which is a prime number, times 2, which is a prime number. 32 breaks down to a 4 and an 8. 4 breaks down to 2 and 2. 8 breaks down to a 2 and a 4. Notice that I'm circling my prime numbers each time. In this particular case, they, it seems like they all happen to be 2s. And now we're going to look for 3 of a kind. 3 of a kind. So I see that I have 3 2s right here. Right, That's 3 2s. So I'm going to bring one of those 2s out. I have another 3 sum of 2s right there. And I'm going to bring that 2 out. But I have a lone 2 right here all by itself. So that 2 is going to stay inside of the radical. But it's not a square root. It's a cubed root of 2 that's going to be staying inside. So our final answer here is going to be a negative 4 times the cubed root of 2. And that will be our final answer. Let's do another example. This time, let's put a variable in there. So for problem B, we have the cubed root of 125x to the 7th. So we're going to ignore the x to the 7th for a moment and break down our 125. So when I think of numbers like 125, I think of like $1.25. And how many quarters would that take? And that would take 5 quarters. So 5 is a prime number. And 25 breaks down into two fives, which are also prime numbers. So I've got my 125 broken down. Now to break down my x. x to the 7th represents 7 x's. And I'm just going to go ahead and write them all down. And since they're singles, they can all have their own circle. Because they've all been broken down. And now we're ready to look for groups of 3. Looking at my numbers, I see that I have a group of 3 in the 5s. Moving on to my x's, I see a group of 3 here. So I'll bring out one x. And I see a group of 3's here. So I'll bring out my other x. But again, I have that lone x. So I'm going to have a cubed root of x that stays home. So it's kind of like that x didn't have someone to go out with. And everybody else did. So my final answer here is going to be written as 5x squared times the cubed root of x. And that is our final answer. Let's do another example involving quotients. So for letter C, we have the cubed root of y divided by 200 and, negative 216. So in this case, we can follow our quotient property and split it apart as the cubed root of y over the cubed root of negative 216. Now remember that negative sign is okay because we're dealing with a cubed root. So from here, because that y is a single y, 
that tells us that our top value, that cube root of y, is going to stay a cube root of y. But we do need to break down the cube root of negative 216. So like we did earlier, we're going to save that negative sign. We're going to bring it down to our final solution. Then we're going to break apart the 216. So 216, um, let's, let's try an 8. If I take 216 and divide it by 8, I'm going to get a 27. From here, my 8 breaks down with a 4 and a 2. And 2 is a prime number. And 4 gives me 2 twos as well. 27 breaks down into a 3 and a 9. And our 3 is a prime number. And 9 breaks down into 3 and 3, which are each prime numbers. And now we can look for our groups of 3. So I see a group of 3 twos right here. So we'll bring a 2 out. And I see a group of 3 3. So we'll bring out a 3. And so this is going to give us a negative 6. So then we're going to take that and we're going to put it back up. So negative 6. And so our final answer is going to be the cube root of y divided by negative 6. This could also be written as a negative cube root of y over 6 as well. Let's do another quotient example with variables this time, with multiple variables. So here we have the cube root of 8x to the 4th divided by 27x to the 3rd. And just as we did on the last problem, we're going to go ahead and split this apart. So the cube root of 8x to the 4th divided by the cube root of 27y to the 3rd. So we'll go ahead and we'll take our cube root of 8x to the 4th and we'll break that down. So 8 breaks down to 2 and 4. 4 breaks down to 2 and 2. And then here we have four x's, one, two, three, four. So we'll now look for groups of three, and we have a group of three twos, so a two will come out, and we have three x's, so an x will come out, but we are left with a cubed root of a single x that didn't come out. So here, this will give us a two x, times the cube root of x. And now we'll break down our cube root, our denominator, cube root of 27y to the third. 27 breaks down with a 9 and a 3. 9 breaks down with a 3 and a 3. And we have three y's. 1, 2, 3. Since we've broken them down, they each get their own circle as well. Looking for our groups of threes, we see a group of three threes right here, so a three can come out, and we also have a group of three y, so a y will come out, and that's all there is. So here we have a three y for our solution. So what do we plug in? Well, our numerator was simplified to 2x times the cube root of x, so we'll go ahead and plug that in, and our denominator was simplified to 3y. And this is going to be our solution because nothing else in the numerator or the denominator can cancel out. And we're done.